Hey Shalom, Shalom. Just want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that have this 100% doctrine. Salutations to all your Akiyams pushing this, this word in sincerity and truth. This is your brother Yassad from the Trinidad GMS Prophetic Vibration Camp bringing on to another lesson, will not edify in Jesus' spirit. So, um, I was watching a video from Gabar Adama showing how a Jake eaten, eaten, um, lobster and, and, and these, these, these wickedness and, hey, it's like, these heathens bringing all these videos are eating unclean and thing because we ought to remember that the law wasn't given unto these heathens. So it's okay that these heathens eat these unclean foods. That they are not they sin and not transgression any any laws because the laws was only given unto Israel according to a um Psalms one forty seven and nineteen. Um and hey, I'll just play the little video quick. <coughs> Trying to let you save the moment, man. That's some good shit. Mm. I've never had that before. Mm. Kind of tastes like. Kind of tastes like. Bullshit. <laughs> That's <a> bullshit. <laughs> 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 bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. and them just have it coming for them if they don't change because we as Israelites the, the, the Bible we the Lord even gave us dietary laws and a lot of these jakes they, 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 they actually even know of this they know about the unclean meat but it's like in their head nobody can stop me from, from eating my swine or eating my crab or eating my lobster and that is a very terrible thing. But hey, I will go down into the laws here. In, well, first, let me get these two scriptures. Book of Psalms 147. 47 and um, Right, and 19. It says, He shewed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. So the nation don't know the the the, the, the nation was 
all these other heathen nations just as the the moabite day we seen eating the lobster day wasn't given the law so the lord could care less if they eat the the um the scavengers of the world the laws wasn't given unto them this when you go back go into deuteronomy 14 right um so right from from verse mm, from one right i'll start at verse two let's see for thou art an holy people unto the lord thy power right and the lord had chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself right above all nations that are upon the earth so but before i get that let me get even i'll even go into the new testament because they like to bring riff and rap about the old and new testament because when you go in the old testament romans 9 and 4 it tell you who are the israelites because we know the israelites being the the, the so-called negroes latinos the hispanics the jamaicans and, and the list goes on. It says, Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. Yeah. So, all the covenants that in the Bible goes on to the, on to the Israelites. Even the glory, as meaning in the kingdom of heaven, that, that um, it, um, extraterrestrial body which is all that is a part of the glory it is it is pertaining unto israel mm. it see and the service of yahweh mm. and the promises yeah the law was given unto the israelites deuteronomy 4 and, and 6 and these always bring us out let's say keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people for what is there so great for what nation is there so great who had Yahweh so nigh unto them and I to show you um, they could be saying it are no nation upon the face of the earth like like unto the Israelites, Yasharala, which is the prince of power, being so close to the Lord, so nigh unto them, who hath, right, it's saying, who hath, Yahweh, the creator of the heaven and the earth, so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in, is in all things that we call upon him for. There. Yeah. And what nation is there so great that had statutes and judgments so righteous as, as all this law which I set before you this this day? So yeah, because we, the law is that is a um that is we carrying out righteousness, you know, by keeping the law. I mean, you you, you won't be able to keep the law to the to the fullest in, in this Babylon kingdom. Hey, the brothers I was taking in the brother, my bigger brother, um, two, my two bigger brothers, um, uh, Howard and Yerashalam. The video that the, 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 was, um, the name of that video was, let me just get back into my head there. Um, it was, Right, so the name of the video that they they did was "Don't Be Over Righteous." Right, that was the video they did. Yeah, lest thou destroy thyself, and they was even saying too, you know, yeah, yeah, you can't keep this um, you can't keep all the laws. I say what well, is for well, about six hundred and thirty-three or thirty-four laws. We can't keep that being in 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 under 
we been under the the the, the wicked rulership and I go on to explain, you know, as as I use your reference to how, you know, you been in Babylon system here, yeah. and you had a work. So sometimes on the Sabbath, brothers might have a work. It's not that they might want to, but you could lose your job if you keep staying home, you know. And that's just how it is. And they ought to feed your family. And they even draw the reference how, yeah, how shy, how you even tell them though the. These, these, um, I think it was the Pharisees, you know, on the Sabbath day, how the Lord was, was plucking the, the air, the corn to eat because, you know, he was hungry and whatever. And even the Lord tell them, even the Lord come up because everything is just about wisdom. Even the Lord tell them, if, and he draw your reference, you know, uh, if, if you, if you ask fall in a ditch, you know, if you can leave it, you know, that's roughly paraphrasing. You know, and you can't leave your ass in the ditch on the, on, on, on the, you can't leave your ass on the ditch, in a ditch on the hole. You had to go out and, and, and pull that donkey out and so forth. Yeah, it was just like that. But to the best of our ability, we, we, we would be keeping the laws. And these are, the, even yeah, how should I say my laws are not grievous. So th- it wouldn't be a hard thing for you. You knowing well, hey, it's not the, the maniku or the rat or the octopus or the swine. Oh gosh, cut it out. That the Lord gave us so much meat that we could eat. He gave us so much meat that we can eat. It's not like the Lord didn't say, well, you can't eat no meat at all. No. Only, the, the, hey, because when you, I'll read back Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Let's see. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord as meaning separate people, right? Unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord had chosen thee to be a partic- peculiar people, as meaning a special people unto Himself, above all nations that are upon the earth, and we are above all the all the nations upon the earth. We are but. Due to we transgressing the Lord laws, you know, the Lord put the heathen to rule over us. <clears throat> it say, Thou shall not eat any abominable thing. You know, we shall not eat any abominable thing. And and it and it go it, and I wouldn't go through all of that because it's right here in Deuteronomy. You all need to start reading and, and, and following up. Come on. But I'll just go go straight to the point here concerning the the, 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 the things that we ought to eat as, as meaning in the waters, like in the seas and the, the rivers and, and so forth. So the point jump into the point straight is Deuteronomy 14 and 9. It say and listen again, I'll even highlight these things. I highlight it. Um these ye shall eat. Eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins and scales, shall ye eat. And whatsoever hath not fins and scales, ye may not eat. It is unclean unto you. And what the Lord say, thou shall not eat a- any abominable thing. So. That being unclean, that is abominable, and that is you defiling your, your, your vessel. Right? Because, um, look at it. You could judge with your own eye. Smackaroni! Smackaroni, macaroni, let's go, dog. You know what it is, let's do it! Look at it, does this have skin and, 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 uh, sorry, does this have fin and scales? No. These don't octopus, and just as they eat any swine, you know. They, hey, le, le, hey, <clears throat> let me just go and get a scripture, you know, showing that we ought not to eat the swine because the big pig on holiday passed the other day. And hey, all you jakes just into the, the devil's doctrine, Christianity, and thinking eating swine is, 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 is part of. A, a, a ceremony for the Lord. Why the Lord say, 
um, roughly paraphrasing, I hear their feast days and the sol- solar assemblies and things. The Lord said that because you all are just wicked and and profane in the Lord and the laws and things. What look at here? Um, yeah. Right. Mm. Right. Right. Look at the Deuteronomy fourteen and and eight. Right. Well, let me start at at um at verse four. These are the beasts which ye shall eat: the ox, the sheep, and the goat. It's not that the Lord does, the Lord eggy we know me to eat at all. You could eat the sheep, you could eat the goat, you could eat the and, and there's numerous amount of meat that we can eat. The heart and the rubuck and the fallow there and the wild goat and the pygag and the wild ox and the camus and every beast that parted the hoof and cleaved the cleft into two claws and cheweth the cud among the beasts that ye shall eat nevertheless these ye shall not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divided the cloven hoof as the camel so we not we is not right to, to 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 eat the animals that that divide the cloven hoof and and chew the cud. It's say and the hair and the coney and the for they chew the cud but divided not the hoof. Therefore they are unclean unto you. So your donkey or your ass you, you is not to eat that. It is not to eat your, your horse and these things. Hmm. I'd say that, um, yeah. Therefore, they are unclean unto you. And the swine, and the swine, I'll re- repeat again, and the swine, the pork, the, the, the ham, lamb, and jam. As they say, they had to eat the ham. No, they don't. Because it divided the hoof, yet chew it not the cud. Mm-hmm. It is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Yeah, you, you ought not to eat that. You ought not to eat it. But here these jakes is making YouTube videos, you know, eating, eating, eating octopus. You're, you're vomiting it, you want to vomit it back out, you could, could hardly stomach it. But yet you're making videos eating the unclean and it's all a, a fun and a game and a kicks. The Lord ain't laughing, I could tell you that. When I get the book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter three and verse sixteen, and this is for you. Let's say, know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, as meaning this body is the temple of Yahweh, right? And it doesn't they have things that resides within a temple, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwell it in you so you israelites this body the spirit dwells in this body if any man defile the temple which is the same body of yahweh him shall the the creator of the heavens and the earth destroy for the temple of yahweh is holy which temple ye are how how far i could how far I could go on and explain. It said, let no man deceive himself. 
If any among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Yeah, because a hey, reason being when you come with this knowledge and you, and you, hey, I was talking to one of my uncle and he's a diet Christian. You know, I was letting him know that we we are the, the fallen angels in everlasting chains and proven it and all these things and like this um that is madness, like foolishness, all that you're learning. All, all th- this is that way you're learning and whoever teaching you and thing is just madness, you know, and foolishness and so he was just saying. But in my mind I don't know well chew chew your pride, the Lord just blind you. And the scripture come into my head because he's a he's a big fireman, somebody that have a high position in the fire service. And because they think well he going on to do his his master. Well, I think he he maybe graduated from his masters and whatever, or how much ever degrees he maybe have have. But you know the, the we know the wisdom ah uh, this world is foolishness before the Lord. But same way that being foolishness before the Lord, our knowledge is foolishness before them, because he just so diet and so believe in the in the. The, the plantation doctrine. He don't want to hear about Yahweh Shai. But it's all good. In the end we all going to see. We all going to be ashamed. If we all do repent and come to the Lord. And sometimes it is be like within your spirit. You just, just feel it that these certain people. They just, they just are the two thirds. Sometimes you just feel it in, in your spirit. Certain people that you, this, you speak to about the word and thing is like they could never come to the Lord. Hmm. Should have been puffed up and prideful and this. Hmm. Yeah, and I sure eat. I sure eat ham for the Christmas. But hey, say what? Hmm. Say what? Let's see. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is ris- it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Yeah, it's plain as that. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain, as meaning vanity. Hmm. Um, let me get a and 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 I I look at the time. But as I going on into into is uh, Eliza the the one of the scribe hey, let me just get it in the book of second um Maccabees chapter six showing you you know how how they say is just account as um, one of the, the, the men that stood firm for the laws of the Lord and things until he died because he didn't want to eat the swine and I to show you how important it is and that the mindset we ought to be in had a belief and faith in the Lord so much that hey it come like we now gonna convert for the system we rather die but let me just get the book of um, 2nd Maccabees 6 Um, I wouldn't do all this reading, but I'll just jump through. So, because this year is any time of uh, Antiochus, you know, and we know after Alexander died and Antiochus and them has been, has been the four generals, you know, after, during the Grecian, um, Grecian um, rulership here, you know, decrees was passed that the Israelites is no longer to keep the law and the all had a convert over until you know um the law the, the, the laws and thing that Antiochus actually set on these things and once you're being caught they were, you could be put to death because when you read in second Maccabees six and and um and I was start at 
4. It says, For the temple was filled with a riot and reveling by the Gentiles. And who is reveling? Celebrating Adam again. Reveling. So, Stava. To take intense pleasure or satisfaction a usually wild party or celebration so it had a lot of celebrations and 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 and, and wickedness used to go on because reveling is like they maybe was celebrating all sorts of wickedness these gentiles back then who dallied with harlots and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places and besides that brought in things that were not lawful the altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbid it yeah because these these the um these christians you know that was in power and you know they trampled and trodden upon israel upon our sanctuary and all these things they didn't care about that it's in neither was it lawful for a man to keep sabbath days or ancient fast or to profess himself at all to be a jew that's just how it was back then yeah so imagine you trying to keep the law to your best of your ability back then and laws was carried out once you you know um you, you ought not to, to to be professing yourself as a jew and you ought not to be keeping your sabbaths and it was yeah it wasn't lawful there was not a law on you because that time Antiochus, all all people, right? Um, they wanted it to convert under their religion. Um, let me jump down to verse. Let me get to the point here, verse eighteen. Let's see. Let me get back his. Elzar, one of one of the principal scribes, and each man, and of a well favored countenance, and Elzar was an Israelite, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine flesh. So now let me go into con the meaning of constrained. Right, to force, so okay, to force by stricture or restrictions or limitations. Yeah, to, to force by imposed stricture. Right, um, yeah. So he was being forced, right, to, to, to eat swine, eat the unclean meat. Right. But he choosing rather to die grievously than to live stained with such an abomination. Yeah. So listen, hey, th does this raise your pause? The, 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 the Elisa, Elsa, he said, but he choosing rather to die grievously than to live stained with such an abomination so he rather die than to than to defile his vessel and die grievously too spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment so he, he spit out that and you know stand firm 
you know, for keeping the law and say, well, hey, I ain't gonna eat that. And he come forward to, to rather be tormented and beaten and, and so forth, willingly. As it behoved them to come at that, yeah, to come that are resolute to stand out against such things as are not lawful for love of life to be tasted. But they that had the charge of that wicked feast, because yeah, it all, those reverence is just all wickedness. For the old acquaintance they had with the man, taking him aside, bestowed him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as was lawful for him to use, because they, they apparently they knew the man, and and they talk with him to try and you know, so that he may be able to to to, to get away, get off without eating the swine. And make as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king. That in so doing he might be delivered from death. For, and for the old friendship would them find favor. Favor because apparently you know they had a good friendship. And the, the, the came up with a plan that you know he could probably eat chicken or, or some other meat. And you know let it seem that he eat eat the swine you know to to supplant the king that he may es escape that it said that in so doing he might be delivered be delivered from that and for the old friendship would them find favor but he began to consider discreetly and as as became his age the and the excellency of his ancient years and the honor of his gray head Whereon was come and his most honest education from a child, or rather the holy law made and given by Yahweh, therefore he answered accordingly and willed them straight ways to send him to the grave. So he, being filled with the knowledge and, the, uh, 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 and keeping the laws and things, he said, well, you know, in his mind I owe now. I, it better all kill me. For it become it not our age, said he, in any wise to dissemble, whereby many young persons might think that El, Elza, being four score year old and ten, were now gone to a strange religion. And so they, to mind hip, hip, hypocrisy, and desire to live a little time and a moment longer should be deceived by him. And I get a stain to mine old age and make it abominable. For though for the present time I should be, be delivered from the punishment of men, yet should I not escape the hand of the Almighty neither alive nor dead. So he, he, he saying, well, hey, I reach this age, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, after I keep in the laws and all these things, I'm not going to be a <laughs> hypocrite to come back after, you know, after, say, you know, professing that I am a man of the Lord and come and eat swine being at this old age. And he even say, hey, it's better, you know, yeah. That is better or deliver me. F f f yeah. Yeah, time I should be delivered. Yeah. It's better that, you know, he, he be delivered unto the punishment. Uh, amen. Because he can't, he can't escape the hand of, of the Lord. And there's a scripture, I believe, in the book of Matthew. Um, I'm going to just get it quickly. Mm. Book of Matthew 10 and 28. And that is just the spirit we ought to be in. Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Yeah, because the scriptures say, you know, this, 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 this just roughly, roughly paraphrasing, you know, the flesh. You know, um, 
the flesh is, is, is in a sense, you know, I would just say it in my words. The flesh is actually, this flesh is just dust, you know. And this flesh, this body does die. But the spirit is everlasting. You know, an immortal, the spirit. But it, it says that, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah. And and the digest to show you the fear of Eliza. Digest to show you the fear of Eliza that the Eliza had for the Lord. Yeah. So I will get it back. Second Mark 3, 6, seven. Yeah. 20. Yeah. Let's see, wherefore now, manfully changing this life, I I will show myself such as one as mine age required. So he being a great head and having all this knowledge and thing, you know, he's saying he's gonna stand for his ground and leave a notable example to such as be young to die willingly and courageously for the honorable and holy laws. And that is the spirit the Israelites used to be back then in. And that will we come back here now, waking up in the street or to be. You know, we're going to stand for your how about Hashem, your how shy. And not give in into the system. And when he had said these words, immediately he went to the torment. They that let him changing the good will they bear him a little before into hatred because the forced speeches proceeded as they thought from a desperate mind but when he was ready to die with stripes he groaned and said it is manifest unto the lord that had the holy knowledge that whereas i might have been delivered from death i know in your soul pains in my in body by being beaten but in soul i'm well content to suffer these things and they're so touching because i fear him and that is it when we know when time to be the you know the, however the lord put it you know you might end up being a martyr you saying well hey in your mind it's rather to take this and still fear the, the heavenly father because hey, he could destroy both body mind and yeah both body and the soul let's say and thus this man died leaving his death for an example of a noble courage and a memorial of virtue not only unto young men but unto all his nation because he was an israelite hmm yeah he being a memorial elza being a memorial and we ought to remember the story and keep that in mind well hey i hope this lesson was edifying double honors unto the elders and apostles at good millstone salutations again shalom